Hello everyone, it's Lucas here from Spag Bond and I'm back with some more Fear Effect for the PlayStation 1. We are going to hit the ground running now. We are in hell as Hannah and uh, we first have to try to um, get past this tricky trap here. As you can see we've got these stone slabs rising and falling from the water and uh, the idea is we need to get across and uh, it took me quite a few attempts to do this um, and as Hannah goes down <laughs> I've edited it down uh, so I can actually figure out the pattern. What we need to do is just kind of go from the left. Uh, for some reason it's tempting to go from like straight ahead when you start because that was where I was going wrong but you have to kind of do each one in kind of some sort of sequence um, you know. So for example see that weight and just as soon as the um, platforms appear just go on them and then you'll be fine. There we go. So it's it's kind of straightforward once you know how to do it. Um, so there's going to be a lot of um, going back and forth in this level. Um, this version of Hell is uh, it's very cool, very atmospheric. There's but there's lots of enemies and also um, and this is something I didn't know. Uh, there's I hope I'm going to get this correct. There's some kind of Chinese tradition where um, if a loved one has died, um, they'll burn a possession. Uh, and with the belief that the possession will be with that deceased person in the afterlife and um, they kind of um, incorporated that tradition into this game because Hannah will find paper items uh, for example a paper gun paper ammunition a paper key for example and she has to find a place where there's a flame she has to burn it so it becomes real uh, in this version of hell so as you can see we picked up some paper ammo uh, so yeah we have to go and find a flame and burn it so it becomes real it's very very cool and something I just didn't expect so yeah I'm gonna be saving it a lot and you will be seeing why because uh, oh my god it's just relentless there's lots of baddies um, lurking about the general areas and they can just take you by surprise and um, I got killed time and time again we're also going to be solving a puzzle as well involving Madam Chen who's now enjoying a life <laughs> in hell and uh, also uh, finding a wee little girl as well um, and doing some kind of tricky puzzle which I still don't quite understand so once again this is footage I actually did oh last night um, I was just trying to figure it out and to be honest I had such a blast look at this demon here um, I really enjoyed it it was fantastic I thought it was going to be more difficult than it was and I was kind of dreading it because like any level set in hell for example like in doom or something like that is going to be kind of difficult and uh, when it comes to tricky puzzles as well I'm just not up for it but all in all this was great I really enjoyed it I thought it was so awesome um, as you can see there are three huts here or three houses the third one's a save point the other two don't really have that much relevance yet. I don't know if uh, there's anything I can do with them yet. So I'm kind of just exploring them. I think one's kind of got a map in which kind of indicates where you're supposed to go. So uh, I do have a few like where the heck am I going kind of moments um, as you will see. But it's all part of the fun and charm. But as I said this game just every, every time I play it just gets better and better. There's more things to see, more things to do. Um, yeah when I first started it was really kind of awkward but you know you just kind of click in uh, with this type of game and you understand how cool it is it's like it's hard to describe it's like it becomes normal that like the controls just become like a part of your uh, repertoire of playing this game uh, and it's just like one of the best um, one of the best 3d platform shoot em ups I've, I've played there you go see there's that flame that we need um, so what we do is we have to um, select the uh, paper ammo and then we take it over there to the flame uh, we use it and then it becomes real and like she just instantly equips it I thought that's such a cool idea so um, imagine doing that in real life <laughs> that would be awesome but yeah great Chinese tradition and superstition you know I kind of hope it's true to be honest I mean imagine that you know sending something to a loved one and the thing is as well, and I've only just realised that, if you run out of ammo for a weapon, the weapon disappears from um, from your kind of inventory. And it's not like it's gone, gone. It's just when you get more ammo for it, it reappears. And that's really helpful. So it kind of stops you, you know, going into the gun or selecting the gun that has no ammo. So that's something I didn't realise. I, I didn't even notice that kind of happened. So... 
yeah, a great little um, innovative thing that they've kind of put in there. So yeah, I'm just ignore. I was going to say ignoring these huts. Well, that too, exploring and ignoring these huts. Um, you know, looking for some kind of clue. So we have to kind of go off the beaten path a little bit and try and figure it out. I do get a little bit mixed up because there's like two ways uh, you can go. Um, there's a way to like Madden Chen. And there's a way to a little girl as well, which we have to kind of do a puzzle with. Um, and it's like both paths are thwart with danger. We have more of those hook demons whom I'm sure Hannah kind of bested. Um, you know, I want to say in live side when she was alive, you know. Uh, and maybe they've just come back for revenge. They are relentless, hence the reason why I'm kind of um, sort of taking my time to save the game where I can. Because it's absolutely bloody ridiculous um, what you're expected to do and what they kind of put you through. <laughs> it's like they'll just come out of nowhere and they always come when I'm burning ammunition. Um, also, like when I burn, there's a paper key which we have to make real. So we burn that, we get the real key and then they always seem to appear. So that's why I'm saving it so often because it's like taking a chance in hell, like trying to progress. Um, more than you should may result in you dying so yeah I'm just not taking that chance I'm just gonna take it nice and easy see there's like some sort of map there on the wall which um, you know looks like decoration but it kind of indicates where we can go I think one thing I am particularly bothered about and I don't know whether this is actually going to be a thing but like those platforms we saw at the beginning I'm wondering if there's another way like another route for example going back so that would be interesting to see i hope there isn't to be honest because um as i said that first uh puzzle um it's not doesn't kind of ease you into hell at all it's uh, extremely difficult to kind of figure out um and it's not something i kind of want to repeat but if there is another route there if there is something i need to do then i'm just gonna have to um, get some grit and just do it and also, I think the action's going to switch back to glass as well at some point. It doesn't in this video, but we get really close to it, I think. So, as I said, I'm not really using a, a walkthrough. The only time I'll kind of use a walkthrough is for the one puzzle we have to do, because I still don't understand how it works. It's something to do with numbers and dials and Hannah's age and all this. So, yeah, forgive me if, if I don't give you much explanation on that, because most of it was just kind of just looking at the guide. And even with the guide, I wasn't sure what I was doing. But it's mostly guesswork. It's like ringing a telephone or something. You have to kind of advance Hannah's age. Everything's got to be done in order and it's very complicated. Um, but anyway, you'll see the solution kind of on screen anyway. So I must have kind of done it right. Because you, you age Hannah and she ages from a little girl to a teenager to a young lady and then to an old lady. Uh, so there's like various symbols and numbers we need to match and I I kind of that's the only thing that kind of stumped me and I knew it would stump me because like I read the walkthrough the little bit and I thought oh god another friggin numbers puzzle uh, but to be honest um, it fits in the story really well um, as I said as you guys know from watching my videos and probably playing Fear Effect in general the story is absolutely fantastic it's one of the best video game stories I've ever experienced uh, one of the best video game experiences I've ever experienced too it's so cool it's it's wonderful it's indescribable I mean like when I first had to encounter the zombies in the village I was literally bricking it but now I'm embracing it I'm embracing all all manner of combat here and I'm feeling my oats and this game's got like I think four different endings as well so there's lots of replay value as well where you can kind of like go back and do things better and stuff like that so uh, yeah so there we go we're just burning more burning more paper trying to get more ammo here that's kind of what I kind of recommend to do every time you get it go and burn it um, get tooled up because as I said the enemies they show absolutely no mercy and why should they? They're dead. They don't care. So basically, they're dead. They're in hell. Hannah's technically not dead. She's kind of visiting. So if I'm killing the enemies and they're in hell anyway, am I kind of killing them again or am I just eliminating them from ever existing at all? <laughs> Very philosophical. Uh, almost like a haiku, really. 
Uh, but yeah, get into the habit of saving the game whenever you've picked up ammo and stuff, or whenever you've had a nasty encounter, or even before a nasty encounter, because trust me, um, it's just one of those things, we have to do a lot of fetching and carrying and things, and it's it can be quite frustrating, so, you know, visiting the same area, but at least, you know, it's not completely massive, you know, it hasn't got any kind of branching paths from what I understand, it's quite linear, there are sort of obviously doors that we can't go in yet, and things we can't do here, uh, so we will acquire probably more puzzle pieces, as I said, as the adventure goes on, but, you know, we'll make a good start, we'll just go down these steps here, oh, is, it a, is it a gangplank? Yeah, a bunch of steps down here and look at that was missed there someone's vaping <laughs> and uh, we'll just head on over so there's like two ways we can go there's one way leads to Madden Chen and the other leads to a little girl so yeah hindsight which is a wonderful thing I don't actually know as I was playing this where I was supposed to go because you've got two ways uh, you will kind of get it it does sort of become obvious oh shite take care of these demons um, it does kind of, you know, click in, so you see the little girl, but you can't, oh god, until, you can't deal with the girl until you see Madame Chen, but you don't know that first time playing, unless you've got a reasonable look for look at this, you know, as I said, I was able to kind of figure pretty much everything out apart from the puzzle, it's not too difficult, but look at this, paper ammunition, enemies just don't give up, do they, they just keep coming, so let's pick up the paper ammunition take all that and I think I've got like a paper key as well that little red item I'll take that I can pick it up see look there's like a like a portrait or a door or something there this is some fantastic graphics so whenever Hannah picks up a puzzle piece her fear just goes back to green again want to watch the fear don't want to do anything too sudden um, as I said, the more times you kind of panic, the more it kind of goes up. It's kind of hard to explain, really. You have to take out enemies assertively and calmly. Um, if you rush around and you kind of get too sloppy, it goes down, I think. Which isn't good. So, now I've got some ammo. I've, there's something there. We can do something there, but we can't yet. So, there's obviously another puzzle piece that we need. Um, so, what I am going to do is I'm just going to go back if I can. Um, try and get back and try and burn the ammo, try and burn the paper key to get the real key. Uh, and that should do it, hopefully. But yeah, it's like you're taken by surprise so often uh, in hell. But I don't mind, you know, it keeps the old adrenaline going. See, there's something else there as well. There's like, man, what do I do there? You know, so maybe I've got to light more fires, but I don't I actually have so. the uh, capacity to do it. Oh, that's good. Just enjoying a nice cup of tea while I watch myself. <laughs> it's got to be done. Right, so, uh, come on, Hannah. Let's try and figure this out. So, for some reason, I don't know if I saved the game. I just sort of go over here and I kind of just... This is what I mean about taking risks. I shouldn't really be taking this risk. I should have saved the game. But I'm just like, oh, you know, it'll be fine. I go totally the wrong way as well because I'm looking for the flame and I'm backtracking and I'm like I don't need to be here but uh, I thought I was going the right way but look it just led me all the way back to the beginning but basically um, sometimes this game it it's it's basically me I just get really confused um, I should have gone the other way there's another way that kind of goes similarly Simulate if that's a word or it's very similar so I need to take the other road basically I think the high road that's kind of the low road um, back to the flame because I was like where's the flame the flames disappeared it's not disappeared I'm just taking the wrong friggin road and sometimes if you take the wrong road as well the, and you see enemies and you're like oh god you know you can get knocked out pretty easily so yeah it's like to the left the flame is it's like a permanent flame for what I understand an internal flame if you're a fan of the bangles there it is, look at that, and I guarantee as soon as I start to burn that key, I'm going to get my booty kicked. So they don't bother with the paperless ammo, it seems to be like key items, so we've probably got to burn quite a, quite a bit here. So make sure you're in the used position anyway, let's just burn the paper gate. Here we are. Oh, that opens the entrance, okay, right, so it wasn't a key, it was... It burnt open the entrance to Madame Chen, right? I understand now. 
See, I was like, oh my god, what does that do? And like, I was playing, but obviously I didn't know what I was doing. I just, but I, it kind of is a key in a way, because it opens a door, so yeah. Alright, so with that, oh god. See, this is what I'm talking about, they just kind of surround you. You have to kind of shoot them, they just keep coming, they don't stop. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Oh, they just keep coming. This is what I mean. They just keep swooping down. It's overwhelming for me. It's like they just don't stop. It's like, come on, guys, take a day off. Oh my god. I'm trying here, but there's just too many of them. Come on. Come on. I tried, but yeah, there's just loads of them. But we're going to try again with the power of editing. It's a real pain in the backside, so at least with experience you kind of learn you know, which weapon you should be using at the right time. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sucks, I think I've got to do this again. Well, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Let's just do it again. It's just relentless. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how difficult this is. Um, as I said, um, if it wasn't difficult enough, so yeah, we'll, just, we'll do this again, but we'll do it better, I think. It, it teaches you about positioning and trying to stay calm, because again, in this sort of game, it doesn't do to just mindlessly blast. You see that target, you've got to wait till the target comes on screen, and that's something I've got a real problem with, because having played games like Tomb Raider, Resident Evil, Parasite Eve, Dino Crisis, you just generally shoot in the direction, and that kills them, but here, you have to wait till the target's there, so that's my <laughs> one bit of uh, advice if I was to give you when playing Fear Effect is wait for that target to come on screen. So that's the main reason why I keep getting killed because I'm in too much of a hurry. You have to kind of stay calm and wait for the target, but there's also a lot of luck as well in positioning in the enemies. As you can see, sometimes they'll come down, they won't be near you, sometimes they will be near you, so they'll be too close. So close, in fact, sometimes you just can't target them. See, this is just BS, this bit. It's absolute BS. Things that you've got to deal with. I just, I think I may have taken the wrong turn. I don't know. I'm kill, killing these enemies early when I don't need to. I don't know. Come on, you bastard. I think we got them anyway. Well, let's take the stuff while we're here. Paper machine ammo. So yeah, I think this is on the way to the little girl. So now we've done that. Um, we, I think we've got some additional ammunition as well. So yeah. Um, this is kind of a strategy game as well. So you have to kind of um, know which weapons to use at which times. But again, you only know that from dying <laughs> and dying again. So let's go back and let's burn some more goodies. Oh my god. It's just, yeah, a lot of fetching and carrying. There's a lot of huffing as well, up and down. But you just got to be done, really. We're near the end of the game, anyway. I would say about another 90 minutes, maybe. I don't know. But I've kind of, um, you know, given given hell a good going over. So, you know, a good start. So there is, I think the action, as I said, will switch to glass at a certain point. And then we can just... Um, switch back to Hannah it kind of I think switches back I think when we get to the final boss like it keeps going back and forth because we have to do different things with different people it's very bizarre uh, but again very innovative and very cool and you know I would have liked to have seen something like this in the early Resident Evil so like um, I said the makers of fear effect were very ahead of the curve so there we go we saved the game so we're good or did I? I can't bloody remember. So yeah, I know that I did, but it's like, I've got this thing where I keep, I can never remember if I saved the game because of like how it, how it does it, because you have to press the X twice. Uh, normally games, I just press it like once and it'll save, but this one, I've just got to make sure I'm just a little bit like OCD like that. But anyway, now we know that it's saved, hopefully, we're going to go we're going to go back I'm just going to burn some more stuff so this is a great little strategy I've got because I've got more ammo now than I did 
last time before I died so I'm glad I was able to kind of show that off because I was a little bit worried about repeating what I was doing so let's po pop over here if I can It'll just there we are right on target use the paper gate that'll burn the real gate and let me see is there any oh yeah they'll take care of the enemies on this first they've got to go again it's all about getting a good foot in with the enemies and getting a good start being able to take them out is what it's all about so I'm, I'm getting good at just standing still. Sometimes standing still is actually good I'm sort of having to move around. Sometimes the enemies just won't bother you too much. As you can see, I'm just destroying them much easier this time around. I just gotta get rid of this thing if I can. I'm just really panicking here. So if I can just get some ammunition, I'll just keep selecting one the gun. There we are. One more. There we are, I think we got them. Brilliant. Right, so let's grab all the paper ammo now. We've got more, yet more paper ammo. So this was actually quite fortuitous because I've got more, i got more to burn. Hence it's going to give me more ammunition for all my guns. So yeah, let's burn those suckers. Let's get some more ammo. It's going to help us out immensely. There we go. Any more for any more? I don't know if there is, I think that's it, there we are, so yeah, pretty good, we've got more ammunition now, so let's go back, and uh, we're taking care of those enemies, I don't know if they're going to kind of respawn later on or anything, but yeah, oh god, there's another one, they have to keep coming don't they, they just don't bloody stop, it's, oh, that's what I'm talking about, that's why you've got to save it guys, but thanks to the power of editing, <laughs> we can just carry on, I love it. Yeah, so I've just kind of done all that stuff again, so there's no way I'm going to do that again on camera. It's like, oh my god, it's too difficult. But we've got more ammunition, so now I've got more ammunition from those guys. I have to go right back to the fire and uh, burn yet more stuff. It just never stops. Yikes. Imagine having to do this in real life. There's another paper one, if I can just... There we are, paper machine ammo, there we are. Oh my god. Oh, that's a good cup of tea. Right, and now we can run back. So, as I said, we have to go see Madam Chen. Uh, through the gate. Oh, hello. Hello, Taylor. Stop, are they? It's going to keep coming for me. This is why I said you need to save it, because they, they, they do this so much. And like, just when you think, oh, they're not going to do it again, they will, they just don't stop. <sighs> I'm trying to just get away from them. Alright, so take out. Right, great. <sighs> I get more ammunition. So yeah, it's kind of like you want to get on with the adventure. Oh, Jesus Christ. And they just keep throwing more and more at me. Ammunition and enemies. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to save the game. Um, I think actually I, I caused some sort of glitch to happen here because the enemy can't come in to the save point but I'm pretty sure he disappears I could be wrong but I'm sure he disappears once I save my game so we'll just save it and we'll just see what happens I'm pretty sure like I might I die but I load it up again and he kind of he's not there anymore See, like, I can't shoot from from the ramp. You have to be like, oh, oh god, he just fucking never stops, does he? All right, but see, that's why I save it because of that. So we're gonna try again. I loaded up the save file, and I think he's gone. I'm pretty sure he just vanished. So yeah, that's something I didn't expect. Oh no, he's back. Okay, my mistake. Oh bloody hell. So as I said it's the we have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Every time I go to go to Madame Chen, more of those hook things appear, so 
you know, you kind of distracted a little bit, which is good. Good sort of challenge. So, and again, burn all this stuff. Get used to this, guys, if you uh, get to this point, because you'll be doing this a hell of a lot. So, let's just burn this stuff. Get it all done. There we go. Right, we're going to go back. Right, let's put our best foot forward. Hopefully we can get this done now. Save the game again, but it's... I think I find this really infuriating, but you've kind of got to do it. It's like if you don't do this, then you're not going to make much progress. Or you'll make progress, but you'll die, and then you'll have to do like a long sequence again. And it's kind of like, oh, everything has to be kind of timed, if you know what I mean. Like... A lot of it is luck though, so you, as you've seen, I'll get into a combat situation. Nine times out of ten I'll succeed, but sometimes I won't. Uh, again, that's a lot of like positioning and things like that, where the enemies decide to come down. Uh, so, a lot of it is that, so... Yeah, oh, see, there's like another one there. I just find this really unfair, it's like, I can't hit them close up. It's like, I'm right on them. But yeah, that's, that's what kills you. Let's try this again, so see that how I'm just waiting them and because I waited and targeted them the position was like correct, so that's what you've got to do. Again, because I played so many other I guess survival horror games. I guess you could class this as a survival horror game. Um I'm so used to that, the enemy being in front of me, but again you need to target them, uh, as you can see. I picked up more stuff, have to go back, have to burn, have to get more ammunition, so yeah. Oh my god, they make a big song and dance about this, but well, we gotta do what we gotta do. And again, you gotta be right on it, you have to be right on that point, otherwise it doesn't work. Right, is there any more? Yes. Any more? So just keep checking because you just never know. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good to go now, actually. That should do it. Let's just head on back. Now, I've been saying we're going to see Madame Chen for nearly half an hour now. We haven't seen her yet, because every time we get near her, you know, enemies appear. I have to keep shooting them, have to keep collecting the ammo, have to keep the burning stuff. So it's like they put all these barriers in your friggin' way to stop you getting on with it. But hopefully <laughs> we should be we should be there now, but it's like it's so inconvenient. It's not like Resident Evil 2 where you'll just you shoot enemies and like sometimes I'll regenerate into something else, sometimes I'll just be gone. Where you have like a clear path here, it's like you don't. You get no time whatsoever. Strange doors there. Maybe we'll get to go into there. I don't know. But anyway, please just let me get to Madame Chen. I'm tired of being accosted by these friggin' enemies. Kind of reminds me of Shadow Man, though. <laughs> um, it's almost like the dead side. It's almost like the same sort of layout, I think. Uh, maybe someone played Shadow Man and got inspiration. Not a bad game to uh, get inspiration from. Right, so here we go. So, I think, is this the little girl? Yeah, so, there's a little girl in here, and so obviously, um, past me, doesn't know that I'm not supposed to be here yet without a key item to give to the little girl, which is a doll. We don't have the doll. We can actually get the doll from Madame Chen. <laughs> so yeah, easy. So it's like my future self is kind of watching my past self. Sorry, my present self is watching my past self, if, you know, if that makes sense. So there's Hannah as a little girl. We can't comfort her, we can't do anything, we can't give her a cuddle or anything. Sorry love, I'd love to give you a cuddle, but uh, I don't have the doll. So yeah, so, but this is actually a room, look at this. It's like Toy Story or something, all the toys are kind of alive. Um, but yeah, that thing on the desk, you can see, we're supposed to do something there. But, again, we need to give the doll to uh, little Hannah, that's Hannah's little girl, and uh, that will trigger the next puzzle. So, yeah. 
Um, so the only reason I kind of spent a bit of time here was because I thought, well, sometimes, as I said, this game teaches you you have to export everything thoroughly. You know, so I kind of thought, okay, maybe I've got to use something. Do I have anything on me to give to the girl? And I did actually think that it might have been a trap. Like, she might be a so. demon. I don't think so. Uh, that was kind of in the back of my mind, you know, like, um, I don't know, I was thinking of, like, Hellraiser, Hellraiser 2, Hell, not Hellraiser, what's it called, Hellraiser 2, I know it's called Hellraiser 2, but I think there's a tagline, isn't there, oh god, it's gone, but anyway, in Hell, is it Hellraiser 2, no, it's Hellraiser 3, isn't it, Hell on Earth, yeah, where basically Pinhead tricks, um, tricks the reporter to give him the box basically to cut a long story short if, if you've seen Hellraiser 3 or if you've not seen it in that film Pinhead separates he, he was separated in the second film and in the third film his demon self is a statue and his human self is kind of like I guess in the ghost world and his human self warns uh, Joey Joey Summers about uh, Joey Summers again, I think her name is the reporter about Pinhead and about how persuasive he is and he warns her not to take the box um, to him not to give it to him and anyway there's a scene at the end of the film where um, he Pinhead pretends to be her dad and says like oh you know uh, basically they, they said you would have something for me and she foolishly gives him the box so I'm um, I know I'm kind of going on a bit, but I guess my point is I kind of thought the little girl's a trap, so yeah. I'd Hellraiser 3 in my mind, <laughs> you know, as I was playing this. Uh, sorry to bang on, but yeah, it's, it's just kind of what clicked in my head. So we've got a paper gun now, so we need to go back and burn that and get the real gun. Uh, but yeah, we still haven't seen Madame Chen. Madame Chen is actually the other way, so... I do know this, but the problem is, it's like, as you've seen, you have to prepare for every little eventuality. Because they throw enemies at you, try and surprise you. I think, with everything that you encounter, it kind of triggers more enemies, so that's why you've got to be super careful. So, yeah, let's go back and let's, uh, let's sort it out, basically. So, yeah, so even before I burnt this stuff, I'm saving the game, because I'm just like... I know how you play, Sonny Jim. I'm not going to fall for your tricks anymore. So, yeah, awesomeness. I mean, we need to find Wee Ming as well. I've totally forgot about Wee Ming. She went missing straight away, which I was really annoyed about. I was like, finally found her, and she buggers off. I thought maybe at some point we'd get to play as her, but no, never mind. We'll find her at some point. Whether we get the good or bad ending, it'll be really cool to finish this anyway. Uh, and I do have the second one as well, so I'll definitely be doing that at some point. So yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this uh, so far. It's been challenging as well, in all the right areas, and uh, I just can't wait to have this up uploaded and completed on the channel. Um, because it's a real major accomplishment for me, because I'd heard about these games for years I mean I'd heard the name I didn't really know too much about them I knew that they were good and they were advanced and people would talk about them often but yeah for some reason I kind of avoided them but yeah it's so cool now that I actually own them both Fear Effect 1 and 2 so yeah uh, but I will say my biggest collection is PS2 games I have so many PS2 games and what's fantastic is like my stepdad and my mom, they're always looking for PS2 games for me. I mean, it's hard to describe, I guess I am a collector, but I never intended to be one. I know how that sounds, but um, I brought loads of PS2 games oh, about five years ago. When I went to all the CEXs I could get to and I just bought a load. And just bought just, you know, random titles and titles that look cool. So my stepdad and mom look at my collection. They're like, "Hey, he's a collector," and they they always say, "We're looking out for PS2 games for you, Lucas." I'm like, "Oh, thank you so much. It's great." Oh, they brought me like the Star Wars. I've got like some Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars, and all kinds of cool stuff, you know. And uh, I mentioned before as well that my cousin, um, he left home for years, and he'd left all his PS2 games. I guess he didn't want them. So like. <laughs> 
Uh, my mum come round with two carrier bags full. So it must be like three, maybe three or four, two or three or four, of bags of PS2 games. And my mum says, oh, you know, I hope you don't mind, but we bought you some games. And I was in, like, PS2 heaven. I was like, this is incredible. So I've got, like, oh, soccer games as well, football games. So maybe I'll get one of those done on the channel because, uh, you know, I did like a bit of FIFA back in the day and uh, FIFA Street and stuff. But anyway, we're going to go see Madame Chen now. And as you can see, it's uh, very demonic here. And she will she will give us the next key item that we need to give to Wee Hannah, basically. Uh, the little girl that we saw. So, let's go and see her and see what she has to say. See what you've done to me, Mei Yoon? See how failure is punished. You did this to yourself, Chen. Your greed, your vanity, perhaps. Maybe I hurt you in the past, Mei Yoon. But I can help you in the now. What are you talking about? My daughter. You may have seen her already, yes. Take this to her. She is alone and afraid, and I cannot reach her. This is my torment. Take the doll. My daughter knows much about you. Take the doll, and I will help you when you return. Okay, so that right there, that's the doll that we need. That's what we need to give to the little little girl or mini Hannah. Or oh, Hannah is a little girl. It's a very, very cool concept actually, you know. So this doll's actually real, it's not made of paper, which is fantastic. Poor Madame Chen. Um has been chained up for her her sins, I guess. So we'll go back and give the doll to the little girl. So I do apologize that I don't know how to solve this puzzle. Next, uh, when I did mention that you saw, you see, I can't get the words out. You saw something on the desk, didn't you? And I mentioned that that's what you've got to use when you give the doll to the little girl. You need to age Hannah and you need to do something at certain points. I don't know how to do it, I don't understand how it works. Um, you have to like turn the dials and press X a bunch of times, but um, I've edited it down so it looks like I know what I'm doing but really I was just button mashing and just trying different things and as I said I did kind of try to use a walkthrough but it just didn't make any sense to me if I'm honest like I, I just wasn't very well explained anyway it was like oh there's a bunch of numbers and I'm sure they were well meaning and stuff but you know you know it's like it's kind of like I don't know your friend asked you to about I don't know say there's a level in golden eye that you're really stuck on or something and you'll, you you explain to your friend, oh, you just do this, this, and this. And it's like, well, you know, yeah, but how do you do it? You know what I mean? It's like, can I have a bit more explanation as to what I need to do? You know, whereas I think the person who wrote the walkthrough was well-meaning. And not all of his or her advice was bad. Um, but in the case of this puzzle, it was just like, okay, you've got these numbers. And you've got these... Um, like little lines and you have to kind of match the numbers to the lines but it it didn't really explain in a way that I could kind of understand so I had to uh, look for a bunch of walkthroughs I think until you know about until I understood the puzzle more and I, I still don't understand it but anyway you will see the symbols if you are playing at home and you're following my let's play and you get to this point then um, I do kind of turn them the right way somehow um, but I really don't understand or the only thing I can tell you and you know if I knew I would is the fact that it ages Hannah so you'll see Hannah as a little girl but then you have to do it in sequence you have to get her to be a teenager then a young woman then an old lady then you have to do something for the old lady to die so you have to turn the dials in a certain way and press X at certain times uh, that's essentially the puzzle if that's the easiest I can kind of explain. You have to kind of match the numbers up with the symbols. And, you know, I don't know how to do it, I will say. I just, you know, it makes no sense to me. And um, it's a cool idea and a cool concept. It just needed to be, I think, simplified just a little bit. Oh, I don't know what that was there. Is that some sort of glitch? But either way... We're going to go and do it now. We're going to give the doll to the little girl. And hopefully that should do it. So, am I going the right way though? Because I, I get them 
mixed up. One way leads to Madame Chen. One way leads to the little girl. No, but that's Madame Chen. Oh, so we're not that way. Right, so we need to go back. So it's literally the other way. It's like we're trying to remember everything. And we have to go back and see Madame Chen as well. Once we've done the puzzle. Very annoying. And we have all these things that I don't know if I can use them. I don't know what they're for. So maybe in the next video or when I film some more it will all become clear. But yeah, oh my god. Yikes. See, look at this. They know I need to solve the puzzle. I'm just throwing all this rubbish at me. Luckily, I'm ready for them. You know, the assault rifle is absolutely perfect. It's a killer weapon. So we'll take that. Right, so I think I just carry on at this point. I just thought, well, I'm at this point. Look, there's a save point right here. So, you know, I was kind of thinking, oh, why aren't I going back to save it and get more paper ammo? Well, we might as well save it here. That way, if we do run into trouble, then um, we'll be able to deal with it. So, with that being done, let's see what we've got here. Oh my god, this place is freaky. It's freaking me out, so we need to get on the used thing. I need to get right on the used icon and then select the doll. So, oh, I keep missing it. There we are, so right on it. Select the doll. Here, I brought you your doll. This isn't my doll. This is our doll. <gasps> oh my, this can't be. Don't you recognize us, Mei Yun? You were so happy at this age, remember? Then mommy and daddy died and all we had left was this doll. You're me? Yes, before you became Hana. Before you had to run from your past. But you can't run from me, I'm always with you. And I have a secret that will help you. Tell me. You know it too. It's in your mind. Unless you're afraid to find it. I'm not afraid. Good. Do you ever miss me, Hana? Do, do you ever miss being Mayun? Yes. Then here's your chance to find us again. Listen, Hana. As a child, we flowered like a branch under the rain. As a child, we flowered like a branch under the rain. Okay, so here comes the most annoying part, basically. So now that we've done that, I kind of wander around, I'm like, what do I do? Because I thought, at this point, I didn't know I kind of had to use it, but uh, the thing on the desk, so I, I saved the game here, and I'm like, okay, but then I, I think I kind of turn around. In fact, I know I turn around, and then I kind of just notice the thing on the desk. It only activates when you give Wee Hammer the doll. So, yeah, it's uh, annoying. But there we go, so see how that's become active now? Again, don't know how this works, so just follow what I do on screen, and then the solution. That's the solution, basically. You need to press X as well at certain points. So sometimes, I know in the last sequence you have to press it, like, twice um, at some point. But yeah, I hated this puzzle. Again, I still don't know how it's supposed to work. Yeah, you're supposed to age Hannah, so I have to get it to be like a uh, a teenager. So yeah, you just got to try different things. So as you can see, there's a lot of like trial and error. So I am looking at the walkthrough at this point, and at this point, I'm thinking it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. You know, like I'm just kind of button mashing, kind of. You just said, oh, just match this with this and that with that. But then, um, I think a lot of the time I forgot to press X because you've got to press X when you, you know, when you put the right kind of things in. But it's like, it's hard. So it was partly me not noticing that, but I will say the explanation was very poor. You know, and it's like, oh, just take it for granted. Just do this, this, and this. And I was like, okay, you're very well meaning, but made no sense to me. There we go. So we've aged Tanner, she's now a teenager. Incroyable. In youth, her beauty attracted the desire of many men. 
Right, so we've got that. I think I just totally just fluked it with In that youth, one. Her beauty attracted the desire of many men. So she says the same thing, basically. Um, so yeah, I have to try to get her to become a young woman. So she's a young lady, but a, an older lady in her 30s. She's 35. You can see the ages are 5, 18, 35, 88, and 0. And, you know, they represent the ages that you have to kind of get get handed to. So now we have to get to 35. So as you can see, I'm pressing X after every turn. Look at that. So there we are. We turned her into a... In adulthood, we I marry and give birth to many to children. Lady. She says, In death, our withered body crumbles into bone and dust. Right, so we have to do one more, and that's to kind of um, represent Hannah dying. So, to get the old lady to die, unfortunately, so we get the next puzzle piece. So, we have to like turn it, and then I think we press X twice at some point. One of these turns we press X twice. So, yeah, I'm trying to get this right here. So, yeah, the thing is, when you go off the screen, I think they reset, so I'll just keep making too many freaking mistakes. Again, this puzzle very hard, um, very annoying. Yeah, and I think without a walkthrough, you could probably do it, I think, if you. If you kind of do it enough times and fluke it, you probably could do it. You probably could guess it. I'm pretty sure I guessed the first one, but all the rest I had to kind of try to figure out. You know, because even then I'm like, okay, do I press X now? Do I not press X? You know, I, I, I did read that you had to press X, and I thought, oh, okay, why isn't it working? And then the last, very last bit said, oh, you need to press X twice on one of the turns. It's like, oh my god, that's so daft. Like, why so cryptic? I don't know, but well, we get there anyway, so. I told you, Hannah. The answer was inside our head. I'm not afraid. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen in a video game, an old lady? <laughs> Turning to bone and dust, and there's a scroll in her head. That's absolutely awesome. Was not expecting that. So yeah, what a palaver. What a tough puzzle, I have to say. Like it took me a lot longer than you see on screen. Um, I had to edit out, as I said, a load of like rubbish because I was like, I didn't know what I was doing. This, like, oh my god. Well, now I kind of know. I've got a better idea, but I still don't know what it all means, you know. I know it represents her age and stuff, but the turns and stuff, I'm just like, oh my god. I couldn't make it any easier. But anyway, let's just get rid of more bad guys, which magically appear. We've also got some more ammunition as well, so let's pick that up. So with that, I think we can go back and we can kind of see Madame Chen. So, as you can see, there's like a, a door here that we can't get to yet. So, there are like a couple of areas we probably will need to go to later on. Or, you know, maybe in the next video, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just go with it. So, let's go back. Okay. I'll try and figure this out. I'm going to put more baddies in my way. They're just going to give me a break. Everything in the background and foreground looks absolutely beautiful. It's it's one gorgeous looking game. Um, I have to say, it's just like I like good graphics in a game, and it's nice to see like the PlayStation One was uh, utilized well um, during its final years. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. So yeah, we have to go back and see Madame Chen just to let her know that we've given the doll, and then uh, Madame Chen gets a little bit pissy, to be honest. Um, 
tries to take revenge on Hannah. Right, here we go. Let's see what she has got to say. A gift. A thank you, Mayun, for looking in on my daughter. Did you like what you see? I'm not your daughter. Oh, but you were once my girl, Mayun. Mayun is dead. You killed her. My name is Hannah. Nothing was taken from you that you weren't willing to give, Mayun. You fool only yourself to believe differently. <laughs> Right, so Madam Chen, did she just turn into like three ghosts? So technically I'm killing Madam Chen. Yeah, it's Madam Chen. It's really annoying because she's just all over the place. It's just very hard to kill. I, I didn't even realise this was Madam Ch I mean, I just thought, oh, it's just a kill, but it's actually her. So as you can see, the power of editing <laughs> means I can take you on straight away. Look at that, boom, no match for Hannah, there you go. Sorry madam, but um, I'm going to have to take your ammunition, so yeah. I think, you know, it's one of those situations where I wish Hannah would have been a bit nicer to Madam Chen. I like, I get it that she hates her, but if she'd have been a bit nicer to her, Madam Chen would have let her live, but well. It's not the nature of the game. So is this Madam Chen again? I guess so. More ammunition, so they're either her minions or they're her. I don't know. I hope they don't give me any more because this is ridiculous. I want to live basically. Stone scroll. Oh, I should mention we've got a tree branch, which I'm thinking maybe I've got a light. Maybe I've got to light that thing. That sort of um, that that area there. Maybe we've got to light that. That's. If I do, that's going to be pretty cool. Who knows? I'm trying to do the best I can here. Right, so. With that. Right. Just go back this way. Because there's a save point here, I think. It's the quickest way to save the game as well. So we might as well take advantage of it if we can. There we are, it stops stops any kind of frustration when we get towards the end. I think we're fine anyway, but you know, I take a few um, precautionary extra steps. Um, as you guys know, because like during this video, you just get accosted all the time. And it's like, better to be safe than sorry. Even though it's really annoying to kind of save your game every five minutes. And we have more ammunition, so... We can kind of go back and kind of burn that and then we can just uh, save the game and then Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt basically, we've done it. You know, we kind of dug in a little bit so we've got the majority of this, there's probably there's probably more to do. But I know as I said the action's going to switch back to glass for a little bit. I would say back on earth or <laughs> I think back in Madam Chen's hideout because that's where we saw him last but yeah. Um, that doesn't happen yet in this video, but I'm pretty sure we'll be doing that in the next video. I think we've got a boss fight as well, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting. Look at this, there's like more of these things. Maybe we've got to light, light them all or something. But yeah, it's very weird. So I'm just going to save the game here. Just do that. lovely stuff right all that's left to say now is thank you very much this has been lucas from swagabond thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro let's play videos i really appreciate it if you're new to swagabond and like what you see hey what on earth are you waiting for hit that red subscribe button now hit that bell notification icon also because that way you'll be instantly subscribed to swagabond and you'll be notified every time i upload a brand new retro gaming video meaning you won't miss a thing if you have enjoyed this video, please do me a favour, drop me a like on it, it really really helps out the channel, comment on this video, uh, let me know um, your fear effect memories uh, in the comment section below, I'd love to hear from you, all your memories of your favourite Playstation 1 game um, can be any genre, because I love talking about the Playstation 1, uh, for me it's got to be Metal Gear Solid, hands down, um, one of the best experiences I've ever had. Um, 
you know, I just remember being a little kid, crowded around the PlayStation. I would always play it in winter time when it's cold outside because the game's kind of set in Alaska and it's cold. And so that's one of my fondest memories. So yeah, let me know yours as well. And don't forget to share this video around with everybody that you know. Anybody that you think might be interested in this type of retro content. It really, really helps with YouTube's algorithm. It allows my channel to grow and it means more blokes and birds across the land will be able to find and access my content consistently and easy. And finally, 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 you can follow my social media. They will be the links in this video description. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring this to you today. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, next time, we're going to be descending a little bit more into hell and then hopefully switching back to glass. I'm going off now for a nice hot cup of tea and some biscuits. Thank you, take care, and I'll see you soon.